everyone, and here's our devotional for Tuesday, September 4th, 2018, entitled Beyond the Stars. The key verse is, You have set your glory in the heavens, Psalm 8-1. The Bible in one year is Psalms 143-145 to and 1 Corinthians 14-21-40. to In 2011, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration celebrated 30 years of space research. In those three decades, shuttles carried more than 355 people into space and helped construct the International Space Station. After retiring five shuttles, NASA has now shifted its focus to demand space exploration to deep space exploration. The dots are really worn on this book. The human race has invested massive amounts of time and money, with some astronauts even sacrificing their lives to study the immensity of the universe. Yet the evidence of God's majesty stretches far beyond what we can measure. When we consider the sculptor and sustainer of the universe who knows each star by name, Isaiah 40, 26, we can understand why the psalmist David praises his greatness, Psalms 8, 1. The Lord's fingerprints are on the moon and the stars, which he set in place, verse 3. The maker of the heavens and the earth reigns above all, yet he remains near all his beloved children, caring for each intimately and personally, verse 4. In love, God gives us great power, responsibility, and the privilege to care for and explore the world he entrusted to us, verses 5 through 8. As we study our star-spattered night skies, our Creator invites us to insist Him with passion and persistence. He hears every prayer and song of praise flowing from our lips. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this. It looks like X-O-C-H-I-T-L? Dixon? Dixon is just D-I-X-O-N. Loving Creator of the Universe, thank you for being mindful of us. The greatness of God is evident in His awesome vastness and intimate nearness. Today's Bible reading is Psalms 8, 1 through 9, and I love this passage too. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory in the heavens. Through the praise of children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man? kind that you are mindful of them, human beings that you care for them. You have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honor. You made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet, all flocks and herds and the animals of the wild, the birds in the sky and the fish in the sea, all that swim in the paths of the sea. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Insight. Paul wrote that the sun has one kind of splendor, the moon another, and the stars and their differing sizes and brightness still another. 1 Corinthians 15, 40 and 41. The varying wonders of the night sky, however, are only a hint of the differences we see in the glory of God. While the cosmos stretches our mind with its evidence of unlimited space and power, the heart of God contains a far greater wonder. Beyond the unbounded expanse, colors and wonders of the cosmos is the hidden glory of the love of God on the cross. Father, when we consider the universe your hands have made and the face that bore the spit and fists of those who mocked Jesus, what is man that you are mindful of us? Mart Dehan. Mart, capital D-E, capital H-A-A-N. And there's a really great song about that by Margaret, what's her name? Is it Margaret Becker? Who am I, Jesus? I love that song, and I don't think I remember it now. <laughs> it's been so many years since I used to sing it. But um, So we're going to sing this one, because we all know this one. And I'm going to sing the verse that nobody knows. <laughs> but we're going to sing How Great Thou Art. But I just want to sing the second verse in the chorus. Um, when through the woods and forest glades I wander, I hear the birds sing deep sweetly in the trees. When I look down on lofty mounts and grandeurs, I hear the brook and feel the gentle breeze. Then 
sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. So, may the Lord bless you all and be with you till tomorrow.